Yo, what's going on everybody? Today we're gonna be talking about octaves and how they can change everything, everything, forever, when it comes to your grooves and your licks. So without further ado, why don't you grab your bass and we'll get started. All right, so the first question you're probably asking, what are octaves? All octaves are, are basically when you play a note, let's say we have this A flat right here, okay? And you play the same note, just a higher pitch. So like this. See, they, they, they're the same note, but one's higher and one's lower, so. And so pretty much that's what an octave is. It's super simple. Um, you Because when you think about it, when you think about what, uh, octaves when it comes to the bass neck, you know that like all these frets and all these different strings, they're not all different notes. They're all like different copies of certain notes or different replications of certain notes. So like if, we, if I have an A flat here, there's an A flat on my A string as well. It's right here. There's an A flat on my D string right here. There's an A flat on my G string right here. But they all sound different. There's an A flat on my B string right here. You see how deep that sounds? And see, the reason why you need to know this is because this is what's, this is like vital when it comes to being able to use these octaves because what's gonna happen is that these octaves can give you a lot of freedom and really cool things that you can use to groove and make some really nasty things happen. I one of the first ways I love to use octaves is in the finger style. And so the way and just just the way I use it on the grooves to so like so just like that. And so all I'm doing is I'm playing this I'm just playing an A flat and I'm just playing the octave. And the best way to find out an octave is I have this two by two rule. Okay, so you go up, so you have your note, you go and use your, your ring finger, you go up two, two frets, one, two, and then go down two strings, one, two, and that's your octave. I use my pinky because it's just a little easier. So that's how you find your octave. Okay, and the way I like to use it is kind of use it almost like a pickup, kind of like a way to, to like just enhance the groove. So like, see how I was doing that? You see, I'm not really holding down on that, like really long. It just makes it tighter. So and then, But you see when I get to this E flat right here, I'm not really playing it very loud. I'm playing it kind of muted. That's another uh, technique of using, kind of like with ghost notes. It's kind of like having like an octave ghost note. You see that? Just so you know what that is, oh, what, the, what the ghost notes are. All I'm doing is just sliding from from the G flat to A flat, just basically sliding them two frets. So, and then I'm doing two ghost notes after. But you see, I'm just slide, bump, what's up? So, this is like a very slight octave. See, just two notes before, after, so. Maybe a little bit slower. Okay, 
And so that's all I'm doing. Is, and it's using that. This is based off the uh, A flat minor pentatonic scale. I have that extended to the G. All right. And so that is what this is based off of. This is the first way I really love to use it because you can use it with any grooves. It's just like adding that. But just remember, make when you make a staccato, it makes the groove tighter. So. You see what I'm saying? You can use it in funk, you can use it in a lot of different ways. Finger style is just one of the, the most useful ways you can use it in. All right, now the next way I love to use octaves on, man, this was a game changer for me, is to use it with slap, okay? Now, when I'm talking about, and if you don't know what slapping is, I think I have a video somewhere <laughs> in my uploads of where I talk about how to uh, slap and the basics of slapping. But on this video, you kind of need to already know a little bit about slapping and how to slap the strings. So if you don't know that, I would go check out one of those videos. But if you do, this, what I'm gonna be doing is basically, so you know how you can slap like, you know, you got. But a lot of times you hear, when you hear slap players, what they're doing, they're playing a, they're playing a slap and a pop, like. But that pop is an octave. So like when you're playing that, those slap kind of funky grooves and stuff like that, but like literally that's all octaves, this whole thing. You know what I'm saying? So like, and all it is is this same thing. It's just the up two, down two rule. But all I'm doing is I'm slapping and I'm popping with it. So if I was just playing that, Now, uh, now with octaves. All right, so what I'm doing with that slap is I'm just basically, you see, I'm just doing, I'm, I do a slap. So it's like a slap, pop, slap, slap, and then I slide to the next note. See that so slap pop slap slap but it's two ghost slaps is what you call it, ghost slap or at least that's what I'm, I'm coining the term as a ghost slap so all it is is just like you got so so I'm just hitting this like a dead note so I'm softening my hand to where I'm not pressing down on the fret I'm just kind of letting my hand sit there and it gives me that note right there and then also, another thing you could do with your octaves on this is make it make your octaves like ghost notes on your slap. It's like kind of like a slap octave ghost note deal. And the way you do that is by not press not pressing down all the way on the string. So like you press down all the way on the strings, it sounds like this. It's gonna ring out. But if you press just a little bit, you don't want the buzz, but you want. You see how quick that is? I press down just a little bit and come right, come right up. So it makes it kind of more of a staccato note. Like that, so. You see how I'm even doing that? You know, it's just like, I don't know why, that, that slap is just, uh, when I do that transition, for some reason when you do that, that ghost note transition, it just makes it a little bit easier to understand. So if you use this, this technique 
in your playing and use it in just like songs when it comes to playing like a like a you know um, a groove or anything like that. It really, really makes a difference. There's a song that I like to play a lot of times, um, Greater Things by uh, Faith Worship Arts. Of the... So you see how it's like, I'm playing, but like this whole groove is made up, is like, of just straight up playing the octaves like because the, the normal groove is just like on the album but i just added those octaves and the slap the slap and the octaves so like, But you see how much of a difference that makes. It really gives it that really funky sound that we've been look, that we're trying to get to. So, so now my third way of using octaves is using them as chords, and this would be my last way as well. Um, this is not one is that is like necessarily uh, talked about a lot, but you see a lot of R and B and gospel bass players do it all the time, and I use it quite a bit too to kind of spice up my grooves and even some of my licks. And basically, what that means is that when you play your octave like that okay you it has like a tone a tone to it which is i mean it's just like kind of it's the same note but it's not like any harmony like a, a regular chord like yeah, that that has harmony you can hear the different notes and it has like a harmony but these it's not really a harmony it's just kind of like a cool tone you know and so i like to use that to just spice in there real quick so what um we're gonna do is we're gonna play our octave and we're going to play it two notes at a time. So I'm going to use my index and my middle finger and I'm just going to play these at the same time like that. You know what I'm saying? So now you get this sound. So I use it on that groove like this. It's not necessarily chords, but it's just kind of adding like a tail. I was, I, I kind of, I guess you could think about it as a tail. So you could do like, play that, and play your octave, and then like, and then like, move as the last part of the octave, the high part of the octave is there. So you'd be like, like that. You kind of give that sound. So, okay, the next part. See, I just do index, index in my right hand, and then middle, just like that. And then next note down. So you get this, you get this sound. Okay. And so that's just a cool way you could just sprinkle that in just a little bit and, um, on your grooves and just your licks and stuff to kind of give it like something extra. You know, you could you could use it like if you're playing something, or if you you know you could use it even in slap like. Uh So there's so many different ways you can use it. So it's it's just one of those little techniques that like it's it seems super simple and it is really simple, um, but it can really really spice up your playing immensely. All right, if you guys have any questions about any of the things I covered in this video, feel free to hit me up on my Instagram at t dykes, or you can hit me up in the comment section below. Uh, just let me know what your question is and I'll try and answer it as soon as I can. Also, if you want the tabs for this lesson, go ahead and look, check out the PDF below. Got some charts uh, to kind of help you out and so you can see it and just have it and be able to understand it a little bit more. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next lesson.